Oh, hello guys. So I was looking around for the best software for video editing. And although it's not an open source, most of the places recommending DaVinci Resolve. So I thought, why not download it, install it and try it, see how I'm gonna like it. I know it's not an open source, but still it should be running pretty good on Linux. So I thought it would be nice if we do it together and that's what we are doing in this video, hopefully short video. <laughs> we'll see about that. So without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, first where we can find this software, it's on the blackmagicdesign.com webpage. I think might be there is an easier way to find. They have so many products here, you can check them out if you want. But for me, the easiest way to find the DaVinci Resolve, it's right here on the bottom under the products. Just go to the DaVinci Resolve. And right here, DaVinci Resolve free. Now I'm gonna make sure I leave this page in the description down below, so don't worry about that. So here, just of course, free download now. This is what you need to do. Just click it and you have the choice of Mac OS, Windows or Linux. We of course are on Linux. So we need the Linux one, just click here and you have a short registration that you need to do, just fill it up and click register and download. It's gonna take you to the downloading the file. Just in case if you for some reason don't want to register an account in order to download this file, I'm gonna leave an other place where you can just download again for free this software without needing to register your account. So I have already done that. It's in my git folder. As you can see it's the file it's already here. You all you have to do is just right click and extract it if you are on you like me, it's even better with extract here without the text subfolder. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty big download file, actually. It's two and a half gigabytes, so it might take a little longer to download. So let's wait for the extracting to finish and we see how we're gonna install it. Okay, and the extracting is finally done. That actually took a few minutes, couple more minutes, I think. So let's open the folder. And as you can see, you have a file DaVinci Resolve.run. All you have to do here is make it executable. How you do that, you should be knowing by now, but I'll show you anyway. Just right click, go to the properties, go to the permission tab and click if it's not already clicked like it is for me. Just click is executable. That's all you have to do. If you want to go through the terminal, just open terminal here. And write change mod u for user. Oops. u for user plus x for executable and the name of the file. And just press enter. And as you can see, it's already a different color, but you haven't seen the, the previous one. So <laughs> anyway, so everything you have to do now is just double click, do not ask and execute. And we're gonna start a pretty simple installation. I believe it's pretty simple. Let's see, just click next. There is a readme file if you want to read more about this software and the UI, you can do that here. Just press, of course, a license agreement. You have to read and agree with it. This is not an open source software, so it's 
okay to have a license agreement, I guess. Click next now and start installing. Installing DaVinci Resolve completed, just press finish and open it. Okay, turns out there is a failed install. I'll show you why and how to fix it. Let's start this over. Just double click again. Press next, next, agree to the license agreement. Now just check the show detailed walk because if you don't do that, there is no way you can see what the problem is and if there is a broken install. So click start install now. And as you can see, it says installer failed error while executing, which is missing this PK exec. So what we're gonna do now is just open the terminal and try to install it. What was it? PK exec. Okay, it found it okay and install it okay. So let's try that one more time. <laughs> Third time is the charm, right? Okay, next, next, agree to the license. Let's just show the walk again. Start install. We need a password, it's already so much better. Okay, we need another password here, that's okay. And as you can see, we already have the icon over there. This is so much better now. The installer is completed, just click finish. Now we can open it, just double click to open. There should be an initial setup that needs to be done. Let's see how about that. Unsupported GPU processing mode. Please review the GPU drivers. Oh, okay. I guess my drivers are out of date for this software. Anyway, update configuration. Let's see how about that. Okay. Well, I guess I will continue play with that. Video plugins, there is none of them. Well, anyway, <laughs> I will continue exploring, but this is how you download it and install the DaVinci Resolve. Hopefully I will figure it out how to use it and maybe edit this video with it. So that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one, bye!